What is up guys? Welcome to my YouTube channel. Welcome to Out The Box. My name is Kev and for a little background, uh, I'm a Filipino physician and uh, I would like uh, this channel, Out The Box, to be a form of entertainment no? and a uh, platform to share with you guys what I do outside my line of work. And with that, uh, today's a special day. Uh, this will be the uh, first episode under Out The Box. And uh, it has also been a year since I started riding uh, trail and road biking. So I started biking last August 28, 2020 uh, as a start of a uh, new hobby. My mentor was my dad, my papa, who guided me through getting back on the bike, uh, like serious back to zero uh, since I only knew how to ride leisurely, yung dito lang sa village. So the setup, gearing, tips for ahon and DH or downhill riding, uh, the works, I had to learn it from him. So I started uh, my rides again here in this village, so uh, applying the lessons that I have learned and getting the hang of uh, getting back into biking. So first I was lent a Trinx 26er uh, with a uh, 3x8 uh, group set uh, just so I could get the feel and uh, to see kung makahiligan ko yung pag ride and then uh, from there, so mga village riding, uh, extended to sa C5 uh, for 10 to 15 kilometer rides. And then dun ko, naku, dun ko first na experience yung mga first na uphill na challenges. So uh, nung panahon na yun, uh, nagiging weak yung binti ko, uh, jelly legs, kumbaga. And then, but then again, yung uh, repeated experiences, repeated rides and practices. Eventually, yung challenge na yun, uh, it grew to a bigger challenge. So, uh, after that, I was included in rides sa uh, Nuvali, sa Laguna, in Tagaytay area. Uh, kasama si Papa, pati yung mga titos namin sa Collins. Um, bagong challenges yun for me. Uh, being able to uh, see a different environment, uh, to go uphill uh, using, with, 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 uh, with the road, going uphill sa, sa dirt or sa trail, and uh, da new downhill experiences, no? And uh, with that, kasama din doon yung, uh, yung bagong view. Um, I was used to seeing only sa road lang, um, dito sa village area. So when I got the chance to ride within that, uh, the new valley area, the Tagaytay and Cavite area, so mas, mas natural yung mga nakikita ko. So going to my first ride, uh, my first ride was at the uh, Camp and Route uh, leading to New Zealand. So in New Zealand, uh, that was my first trail. So they called it New Zealand kasi maraming baka doon at marami ding dumi ng baka doon. But it was a trail uh, leading to uh, another road, uh, leading to another road going to Ariel's where I had the best, uh, for me, the best lomi uh, for bikers. No, I am not sure if there are other lomi places but uh, for me, that, that that was the best place for a lomi. Uh, so yun, uh, after that, syempre yung DH9 pa baba, I was uh, okay. Anyway, uh, rides after that came and I got to know more of the uh, must-go spots sa uh, Nuvali, Laguna, Cavite, Tagaytay, and Batangas area. So two months in, uh, I decided to get my own MTB, my own mountain bike. So with the help of Papa, we came across uh, my, my, my current ride right now, a uh, Foxter L. Bruce 27.5er with a Shimano Dior group set uh, na 1x10. So I have been using that since then, uh, since October last year, and I have countless rides already. Hindi naman siya ganun kadami, but with the time that I have during off work, uh, and then if hindi naman busy, so I, I try to get some time in. 
the longest ride I have had was, uh, I think, 45 kilometers, which will be shown here. So, yun. So, uh, it has been a year since I, since I have uh, done riding. And uh, I have learned a lot from this experience, no? Um, from basically from being able to learn uh, to ride the bike again and to ride it in a different way. No, not just leisurely, but in a more uh, exercise and uh, what we could say in a more rigorous uh, way. And... Uh, yeah, the, the, the technicalities, the, the discipline that you have to put into it, and then uh, it being a form of exercise, syempre, magiging conscious ka rin sa weight mo, magiging conscious ka rin sa health mo. Because uh, with that, uh, you get to see that it gets difficult when you are kind of heavy, on the heavy side, just like me. And uh, when you go riding uphill and then... Uh, you get to experience more uh, knee pain, leg pain, uh, cramps. So, with that, you get to be a little more health conscious. So, yun yung naging effect nung pag ride sa akin. So, one year in, I could say that uh, cardio is a bit better. Uh, I may not be thinner or leaner, but uh, mas maganda na yung nagiging performance ko when it comes to rides. So, yun nga, um, from 10 to 15 kilometer rides na okay na ako doon before, ngayon bitin ako sa 10 to 15. Now, I go for 45 kilometer rides, which was my longest. And then, um, with a little more challenge, no, uh, I get to be more comfortable with challenges along the way. And then, uh, for me, I'd like to go back to places. No, I'd like to go back to places to see if I perform better compared, if I performed better compared to how I did the first time that I went to that certain place. So with that, I'd like to share with you guys my top three must-go places for uh, bikers in the South area, in the Nuvali, Tagaytay, Cavite area. So uh, number three for me would be a RevPal or Reverse Palace route. So kahit na madalas bumiga yung binti ko sa RevPal, uh, going up, and up and up and up the king of uh, going up to the uh, king of rev pal banner uh, this would always be memorable for me so uh, i've been there twice uh, first was december 3 uh, 2020 and then my last ride was last uh, june 12 2020 so uh, with six months uh, worth of experience in between those two rides i noticed that i did better Pero kahit na marami pa rin akong stops in between, mayroon pa rin mga stops in between, uh, nakita ko yung improvement ko uh, when it comes to uh, the gearing, when it comes to uh, the technicalities of going uphill biking. So, since nga yung huli kong ride noong June 6 pa, so baka naman June ng isang ride pa sa Revpal. So, uh, I'd also like to mention, no, uh, the, the DH here, the downhill here is superb. Uh, but with extra caution, syempre, uh, the downhill uh, slopes here are uh, st kind of steep. Kasi nga, nahirapan ka na nga paakyat. What more, sobrang sarap pababa. Um, yun nga, uh, kailangan lang mag-ingat, syempre, kasi may mga riders din, may mga bikers din na paakyat. And they may be, on the, uh, they may obstruct the way, no? Papunta sa, dun sa mga DH, uh, going DH. So, then again, pag clear naman at maganda yung ride, suave. Napakasarap. Anyway, going to number two. Uh, number two route for me would be upak up and then reverse cardiac to home. Uh, so, this has been our go-to route with uh, with access sa mga lumihan and mga go-to na kainan tulad ng Aling Pinas at yung Pards. So, yung notable na experience sa akin here was uh, dito, dito ko una naka-experience ng uh, all clear, rapid reaction, go all out na DH. So, nung time na yun, first ride ko, uh, I think that was September uh, 2020 uh, na DH. So, nakaabot kami na 58 kilometers per hour. Sobrang, ang nangyari nun is, nakalimutan ko lahat ng problema ko. At tanggal lahat ng stress ko, lahat ng mga iniisip ko nung araw na yun. And sobrang ang sarap. 
And it na, and every time we go there, uh, yung DH na experience na yun, syempre na mahihirapan ka going up. But uh, with every akyat mo, may katumbas na pababa yun. Eventually kasi, New Valley is in a flat area. For, well, relatively flat, no? So, ayun. Uh, it never fails to take me to a different place. Pag mga DH experiences. So, maybe I'll be mentioning it later in this video, but the DH is, uh, downhill rides for me are what makes my rides uh, worth doing. My opinion only. And then, uh, actually, this is where I celebrated my anniversary ride. So, kasama ko si Papa and si Tito Lem, one of the titos from uh, from Collins. And uh, dito sa DH namin, last uh, no anniversary ride is umabag kami 63 kilometers per hour. Which is unexpected, but it was very, very, again, it took me to a different place. Took the stress out of my body and at the time, yun lang intindihin mo, yung DH mo lang and... The, it was very exhilarating for me. Very, 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 very exciting. Suave. So, yeah. So, here's a quick montage of the uh, anniversary ride that we had. So there, uh, so for before I say what my number one uh, ride is, uh, honorable mentions are our uh, camp end. So for those who would like to experience trail biking in a controlled environment, I suggest you go and visit camp end sa New Valley. So this comprises of five stages of trails, so with varying difficulties and lengths. Uh, and then uh, I've been there a couple of times. Uh, with every visit, I get to do something new. Uh, meron silang areas kasi for challenges and it serves as a uh, good training then and for you to get used to uh, trail biking. Uh, shout out to my kuya uh, who has already started biking uh, earlier this year and has already visited Camp in I think twice and we've had good experiences there and uh, hopefully magtuloy-tuloy. Kuya <laughs> And then uh, another trail experience for me would be... Uh, Fill invest the, the fill invest trail routes, but in yeah, suggestion go would be to visit the trails with someone who knows the route well, because uh, medyo mahirap uh, yung trail, and then uh, kailangan may guide para alam niyo saan pupunta afterwards. Because uh, um, from what I have experienced recently, I mean with my last ride there, uh, wala masyadong directions on which is uh, the first trail, second, third, or whatever number of trail you are in. So, in the direction if it's the exit or the entrance. So, but uh, with the twi the two times that we've been there, maganda yung naging experience namin and we were with someone who knew the trail well. So, kahit nakakapagod, sulit siya kasi yun niya. Uh, trail rides are one of my uh, preferences na rides. So, there. So, my number one, the best route for me that I have visited is my... Uh, Padre Pio Taal Lake, our Mayo Uno ride. So we had a mix of uh, road and trail biking that time. So including a buhat bike experience going down to Taal Lake area. So when we got down to the Taal Lake area, sobrang ganda nung view. Uh, it was breathtaking, tsaka naging sulit yung pagod, yung, di, yung, yung buhat mo pababa. Yung buhat mo ng bike pababa, pati yung uh, mga uphills mo. Uh, naging sulit lahat ng pag, pagbaba namin nung nakita namin yung uh, Taal Lake area. So we had fic, uh, pictures taken. So here or here. <laughs> so so yun. Though uh, I've only done it once, uh, I'd like to do it again. Kasi um, yung mga nakasama ko noon, sila Papa and yung mga titos, um, they, uh, they discovered uh, new routes or other routes para mababaan namin yung Taal Lake without having to do the buhat bike experience again. So, uh, yun, I might ride out with them soon when, when I get the time. So, hopefully, makaride doon ulit. So, yun, uh, I still have a lot of places to cover, especially in the uh, south area. So, for the riders in that area, you may comment down below for suggestions on where we could uh, ride next. Or maybe, makapag-ride tayo soon. Who knows? And then, uh, 
also for where we could eat next uh, one of the things that i do or look forward to when i ride is where we eat so uh mapalomi pa yan lugaw tapsilog mushroom burger basta kahit anong food basta may food sa peak or pag dh mo pagbaba pagkatapos it's okay i find food pa din so i'll save my top must eat places for the next videos for the next bike video so that's it for now uh, if you like this video click that like button don't forget to subscribe and share i'm kev and this is out the box Yeah, it's a little, 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 it's a little,